Hello there, I just want to make a video now on um, my thoughts and opinions on the on the, the Xbox One. I can't show you the actual console because that's the uh, what I'm recording on. Um, it's not it's not going to be a more visual video. It's going to be um, a video where I talk about um, the way I feel about the Xbox One. If you haven't seen it in the um, other video, here's the uh, games that I've got. Forza 5, uh, Rise and of Rome, Titanfall, FIFA 14, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, um, Watch Dogs, and I will be getting UFC when it comes out. Um, I just want to say that... Um, First of all, that the Xbox One Connect is ten times better than the 360's version because I had the 360. Um, my dad brought it me for Christmas one year, and it was good. It was good for the time, um, although it lacked it. If you ever watch some of the E3 conferences that they've shown or. Or some of the videos they showed for the old Kinect. It didn't really voice recognition or track movement very well in short space. Now, what I've got to say about the new Kinect, the Kinect 2 for the Xbox One, is that it's got a lot going for it. Well, I'm saying that it's got a lot more than the Xbox 360's Kinect going for it. Um... The Kinect is well better at more better at voice recognition, although I found that it don't work all the time, and especially if there's other sounds. Like other, I my mate's um, been staying at mine lately, and he's got his TV. And if he's playing the TV, I don't tend to pick me up well. Um, but apart from that, the, it tracks me really well because I've got a short width space in my bedroom and a lot of cabinets. And I was playing the Zuma Party Fitness demo, uh, and it was picking me up really well. Um, apart from that, the Xbox Fitness app didn't, uh, when I was doing the floor exercise, didn't pick me up well. But uh, that's probably because I have got the Kinect on a shelf at the minute, and it's supposed to be uh, six foot high, uh, according to the manual. Um, the console itself. Um, I really like it and I enjoy it. The graphics are amazing. Um, the the features they've got on it, like the extra voice recognition, um, upload studio, upload, um, sign in connect, and all that. It's it's really great and good, and I'm glad that I chose personally. I'm glad I chose the Xbox One. Over the PS4, some may disagree, but um, I like both. I've had an Xbox 360 and PS3 before, so I'm not being biased over any console whatsoever. I'm just, after the problems that I had on the PS3 where it went down for three weeks because of hackers, I then decided to switch back to a 360. So I switched from a 360 to a PS3, back to a 360. And to be honest, I just prefer Microsoft as a brand and I'm not being biased. But the, the Xbox One is a really good console in my opinion. It was um, more pricey than the PS4, but for the extra features and the worth of it, 90% of the time all the voice recognition features work. Um, they work more often than that, I've found. But... Um, this is just my thoughts and opinion, and we'll see what uh, Microsoft and the games developers and the software people, what they come up with in the future, the updates they bring, how they make it better, and uh, how the games will look better, because they're only just under a year old now. So, yeah, thank you for listening, and once again, I hope to see you on Twitch and that, if you've watched the last video. Thank you. Bye.